This is Terry McDade, aka the Pirate Hunter, and this is an inbox kit review of Maquette's Maquet Red Army Collection Field Kitchen with Personnel. It's the box art shows the two figures and basically what you're going to get in it on this. On the bottom corner here shows 135th MQ-35038. Now I tried to find some information out about this company and I found a Facebook page for them and then I went to one website that it was uh, Maquette or Maquette however you pronounce it I think dash or underscore MD that listed all sorts of kits on it so I don't know I this is the first time I've really heard of this but I've never really searched for them so let's get look, let's look at the box and see what we got on the inside on this side in English it says model kit for experienced modelers only resin kit contains decals and assembly instructions paint and cement not included uh, it's got the same picture on uh, I believe this company's out of the Ukraine so it's got possibly Russian on it I'm not an expert on that this end shows same picture on this side it shows the same information in uh, Russian and Japanese on it with the rest of the information. This end has a 1202 number on it and some staples on both ends. So as I said, I have already got into this and then my tablet decided to download every update that's ever needed. Uh, you open the box up and you get an instruction sheet that says gives you the sprue map on it there's three sprues on it uh, gives you the history of it about the cooking thing on it the number of it was a Russian field kitchen PK-43 this goes on I'll just hold it here for a second more you can pause it uh, read it gives you all the information on it second one you got in here is the painting guide for your figures on it there's no real assembly instructions but the figures on the sprues match this pretty good the only English on this is the color callouts and that's about it everybody I know has got their own special favorite kind of paint they want to use to paint this with uh, calls out for the brown leather black boots the one hatchet is in steel, khaki green, aluminum for the cooking utensils. Uh, that's about it on this. White on the hat and the cooking jacket. Now, if they're out on a field kitchen and they've been out there for a while, that white jacket's not going to be what I call very white. And on this, it says toolkit mounting to field kitchen. Uh, spade gluing to the rear side of the grocery box. Two axes are gluing to both copper revetment sides, so they go right there on it. It's got a little L and R on it, which tells you on your call out that they both go on the same sides, left and right. Now, as I said, I've been into this, so I found out something entering. This is supposed to be a brand new kit. And I could see something floating around in it. So when I opened it on this and got the parts out, this apparently has spare parts in it that somebody's started. And I couldn't figure out what they were when they were floating around in there. But it has one of the cans that's been glued together obviously been uh, painted it's got a silver type paint on it there's the lid for it and it ain't spray if it was and it's been brushed and it wasn't thin much I can guarantee you when they brush that stuff on there uh, the handle on it these got pretty good detail and then this brown piece here which I don't know what that's for. I don't know if it's part of a uniform or what, or whatever it is on it. And it's something that I found in there. So I will contact the seller and uh, see what's going on. Okay, on the wheels, 
and tires, they have right here a large flash on them. This whole kit has a bunch of flash on it. Now, there's no tread on these, but before we get too excited over that, it depends on what time frame this kitchen had been being used. If it's something that just got off of the transport train or truck or whatever that has just come from the factory, these would have large amounts of tread. But if this is, say, 1944, 1943, 1944, time frame, these things would have been used a lot following the Russian army, and they're not going to get as good a care as uh, an American army or a British army with large amounts of resupply issues that they can change tires as soon as they start to get war. So it is entirely possible these things could be wore down from being used, and they would be replaced if they could, you know, as soon as they could get one, or if they found another vehicle that had the same tires and wheels that they could get them off of. Now, on one picture I have on this, this is, uh, you can see that on this 250, that they have two different tread patterns on the front tires. So, even on that, they, the Germans used whatever they could at times, or had to at times. The figures, well... The lot, the detail's not too bad on the cook. It's kind of a little soft. It's got a bunch of flash on this. The face on the cook really isn't too bad. Now the face on the Russian soldier that has exactly about no detail on it. That is really, really soft details on it. I don't know if you could use it or not on this. The uniform itself has pretty good detail on it. But this whole thing, this has got a lot of flash on it. Now, the ladle comes in two-piece. I'm guessing this right here is the handle for this ladle that goes right here. Because you can see, I don't know if that's flash on it or what it is on it. I don't know if that's the... No, that's where the handle attaches to that. And then down here on this end is, looks like what's supposed to be the cup that, that uh, the cook is holding, and the detail is horrible on it. Uh, just kind of a blob there with some kind of little indentation, but it's got a hole in the side of it and everything else. That's just about totally useless. And the one piece of uniform equipment that goes on the side of the Russian soldier is that right there and that's got a lot of flash they're attached kind of hard on it a bunch of these have kind of got hard attach points on it the detail on the hands though really aren't too bad like I said there's just a lot of flash all over this uh, down the sides of the faces on the uniforms so just a bunch of flash this here, our part that's been put together actually is one of these that's been glued together, and that's the lid off of it. So, I don't know where it's come from. As I said, this was supposed to be a brand new kit. So, I don't know. I'll, I said I'll contact the uh, uh, manufacturer on this. The sprues on this, these have got, these are your wooden logs here, and they've got they're flat logs on one side so they don't roll away. Um, they've got some detail on it, but if you've done a bunch of um, vignettes or dioramas, you've probably got some real sticks that you can use there uh, for the firewood on it. This, uh, the axles, springs I should say, look pretty good. Hang on, the individual springs you can see on them. The axle itself looks you know, pretty good on it. The frame is good. There's, you know, no tweaks on it or anything else. This sprue here is the second one of this sprue. So, you've got the two different fenders, and they've got the indentations on them. I don't know if you can see it. They've got the indentations for where these cans, one, 
two cans set on this so you got the other half of your uh, logs here to put on it. Well I said I'll, I've got enough sticks and that from other builds to use. Your smokestack here can be used, it's got two pieces, it can be used as either all the way down if you want to set this up like it's being pulled or if you want to set it up like they're stopped and they're cooking food for the Russian troops. This is for your kettle and the cooker that goes on the trailer. The details not too bad on the bolts on this and on the plate for I believe that's for the firebox but on the side of the boxes in this where the straps are the details not too bad on them they've got the raised um, hooks on not hooks buckles on it and this the thing that's bad is you have one attach point right there on that little thin handle and the other two places where it's attached have got uh, you're gonna possibly if you're not careful take a divot out of the top of that cooker so that's something you have to look at when you do it bolts are raised on it so it looks pretty good there's no on the viewpoint area any areas that are viewable that I can see on any of this is there any sink marks or anything like that and these all have the raised pieces on the inside so when you go to put it together with the side pieces in this they've got something to go up against so it's not too bad a kit uh, my thoughts on it oh here let's get to the tools these are the tools and they are kind of attached a little hard on it so I don't know you'll have to be careful take them off but you know a lot of us have spare stuff here anyway so I would you'll have to be careful getting that off that you don't take divots out of the handles or the head of it but other than that doesn't look too bad final thoughts on it um, it's got a lot of flash on it it's that face on that one Russian soldier is really really soft not a lot of sharp detail I don't know if I've got any Russian soldiers or not but I'm not planning on using them anyway this will be part of a railroad diorama train station kind of thing uh, out in the middle of outer nowhere Nevada kind of place where they're dropping off troops supplies things like that that has been over the course of several years overrun and run back over and then overrun and run back over again so that's why this cooking Russian cooking thing is will be there at this time it is now held by the Germans for however long that happens on a very fluid front so I said it would be an interesting addition to a build if you're doing some place like you want to use it where you know Germans have run over the area or you've got a Russian uh, where they're stopped a Russian group of soldiers and getting something to eat so yeah I'd buy it but be careful on when you're trying to cut some of this stuff off the details a little soft on some of it all in all yeah I'd, I'd buy another one probably but I'd check and make sure it's got a pretty good price on it and <laughs> oh well I don't know I got a spare part for this so maybe I shouldn't call and complain they might make me send it back but okay well this is a rather short one this is Terry McDade aka the Pirate Hunter and as always to quote the great Jerry Springer take care of yourself and each other <laughs>